summer in New York. Yeah. <laughs> she's, I, you know, I was so craving being in a place where it was just, you could just do, you could just be normal. Yeah. You could just go have a coffee with your friend and not be like, oh my God, there might be bombing. Yeah. They might have the checkpoints closed or, Interesting. Take you this know. for granted. These are things you take for so much for granted. I want to take a yoga class. My God, it's like impossible to do something. And that's what's missing in, uh, in Palestine on this area, or uh, even in Egypt, in those places of trouble. The, the, the sense of normalcy, mm -hmm. it's just not there. It's not there. And it, it's really, it's, it, 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 it kind of deprived you of being a normal human. Yeah, I, and I think that's the thing that made me the most, uh, just, f I felt so frustrated that the people there were not having any experience to expand themselves to to develop as human beings because their lives were so limited that not not no I mean they don't even have access to food they don't have access to education to medical uh, let alone a yoga class I mean this yoga. is like a God, for yeah. like a <laughs> impossible but you this know is, uh... so I felt like I really wanted to stay like it was my duty to stay almost. Yeah. I, but at the same time, I, I, the violence was so upsetting to me that I felt like I, I had had enough. I had an, to an artist cannot function in, in, in a violent environment. And yeah, I think we're too sensitive. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't work very well. And the thing that really shocked me is the more violent it got, the more angry I got, and the more I felt like it's, vi it's totally justified to, to be violent mm -hmm. in return. No. Retaliation, it seemed to me, you know... Well, the violence will take different definitions. It takes... Just, it know, takes survival. It, it's survival, and it, and it takes over your sense of, you know, you're, when you're put in this extreme situation, when you have... Due to the cycle, no and, yeah. it's, and it's... And so it seemed to me... I understood how people get so extreme. I understood how people become radical, what's called radical, yeah. but to me it's a normal human reaction. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted in the show to convey like a very funny parts of being Palestinian, you know, people, um, you know, people having all these crazy ideas of like, well, what does that mean? And what do you think about this? And how do you feel about Jews? <laughs> and you know, where people just ask you these really inappropriate yeah, yeah. questions on the street. <laughs> but also, um, but also the sense of like, I wanted to convey how easy it is to get caught up in these feelings when you're in this situation, and that maybe people's ideas of what's radical or or calling people terrorists or, is you know not that I'm justifying it, but I, I wanted to I it. wanted to show people that it's it's very human it's a very human reaction Element in it. and that maybe the the part that needs to be examined isn't the reaction but how people get broken down to this point how do uh -huh. people get sucked into this and also you're an American you were born here mm -hmm. born as American. Mm -hmm. so in a way was was an educational experience for you as an American to yes. go and go so you can relate that to an American audience yeah how you can you know learn and be aware of these things and, uh, and understand it. Yeah, definitely. I think for the show, people say to me, like, from all places, from uh, Filipinos, Mexicans, uh, people from South America, you, you know, they say to me, oh, even uh, I met this guy who's an Iraqi Jew, and he said, you can't imagine what the kind of questions people have. Like, people don't understand where I'm from or what my identity is. So it was so great to see a show about somebody struggling with their identity because I can totally relate. And I think uh, that's the part I wasn't an anticipating about the show. Beyond the situation in Palestine, people, uh, you know, America's made up of people from all over the place who don't, who come with all this baggage, who come mm -hmm. with wars and history. And, and so I think uh, people said to me like, oh, they think, you know, they have all these ideas of what Mexican people are and all these stereotypes. So and, uh, you know, it's such an individualistic uh, culture here. And access to all kind of informations, but still uh, the, the majority of people here will just have one idea. They ask the same questions. Right, 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 right. They ask the same question to a Palestinian, to any, as if a Palestinian just one thing. <laughs> it's funny, I created a segment in the show called Ask a Palestinian. <laughs> yeah, you should have a tear there. Where I what answer. What would uh, Jesus do? 
Well, oh, geez, the Ask a Palestinian. So it's uh, I answer stereotypical questions from the audience uh, about what Do they actually you interact. No, with no, no, no. Oh, I see. They don't just... really get to ask them. Yeah, I yeah. just answer the questions. Uh, I've... You've been asked already. <laughs> <laughs> that I was gonna, you know, do you how how are you Christian? Did you convert? Yeah. It's the yeah. Holy Land. <laughs> Where do you think the Christians? Poor original. <laughs> and and you, that's yeah. also an interesting because when when people think of Hamas, people of Palestine, people of Arab, they think of right Islam and this Muslim terrorism I and mean, extremism. Exactly. So, uh, how being raised as Christian, you know, a lot of people don't understand uh, a Christian Arab or a Christian Palestinian's identity. Also, it's a different layer of. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I have this line in the show. Um, uh, when it's, I do these stereotypical questions and it's like, you know, it's the Holy Land. Like, Jesus was born in Palestine. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be Christians yeah. there? Well, you he know? didn't look like it's, a uh, Swedish tennis player. <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, you know, and, and th questions about do you, what do you eat? What do you wear? What do you, uh, do you date? And, you know, things like what, this. What, what's the right the kind of line of questioning? You know, why is it so important to know what the Palestinian eat or date? And, 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 and what well, I thought it's important to answer those questions in the show because, A, they're very funny, but B, it's, uh, you know, it's all of the things are, are things that it's just like, I eat what, no, no, you know, mm -hmm. I eat what normal, we eat bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually Muslims yeah. and Jews yeah. who shouldn't be eating bacon, <laughs> yeah. not a... I'm at the airplane, airline, I eat mm. bacon, I don't reject anything. It's impossible. Do you know how hard it is to find bacon in Jerusalem? Really? I had a whole scene in the show about that, <laughs> but I cut it out. What is it, gone or the, after the swine flu? But, you, you, <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing is, uh, you know, there was, uh, I had the, the FBI director on the show here. The uh, what? The FBI. Oh, director, my gosh. Okay. And, and I was talking about, you know, what you guys, what are you looking for? You know, you mm -hmm. can look and then. And I know people will laugh about this. I just came from the airport and uh, I landed, and uh, the U.S. Department, whatever land security guy or whatever, uh -huh. uh, found this in my luggage, What's and he was this? staring at it yeah. as if it was like Al Qaeda's manual yeah, of course. because it has an Arabic on it. Right. But the thing is that uh, that intimidation of uh, I think uh, it's it's in a way of a mindset. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I mean, if this. People spend billions of dollars uh, to secure us uh, flying, and this is how they, the way they are thinking. I don't think technology will help them that much. Well, yeah. I mean, it's interesting that um, don't fly with Arabic. That is number yeah, one. <laughs> don't fly. Yeah, don't one. fly with an Arabic T-shirt. That's the top, 10, that's uh, the top one. Tips. Um, yeah, I don't know about the the airport security situation. I think that's um, that's a whole other show. But I think that people have these ideas about who Arabs are, who Palestinians are, especially Palestinian is, is, is what make, is interesting for me, that is just so far from reality. Um, that I wanted, I wanted to create something that was gonna blow everybody's expectations. So are you talking about shocking the audience? Um, Shocking them by it being so normal, you know? Shocking them by it being so like, ah, eh, she just wants to go on a date. She well, just that, <laughs> being a normal Palestinian, that is shocking. She just wants to go on a date. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about politics. Yeah. You know, those kinds of things that, um, that I think is the way that it's going to start, things are going to start changing and people are going to start understanding each other. Beside the homeland security people, who else comes to your show? Uh, I think definitely some radical Zionists come to the show, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I, um... Are they vocal? They, no, no, no. Okay. I'm, I actually, knock on wood, I, um, and I'm going to just because I'm superstitious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't had any, any sort of negative reactions to the show, except for a couple crazy emails. Um... But the people who come to the show are, have been very open-minded. I've had a lot of, it's funny because people expect that a lot of Arabs are coming to the show and they're not, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I have anywhere, I would say on a good night, a, a quarter of my audience is, is Arab descent. Uh, um, I've heard it enough, uh, the question's been asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most of the show though, um, 
about 30 seconds and to close it's just uh, most of the show has been like a, a lot of theater audiences people interested in politics or people who just are interested in the issue and want to hear what this crazy show is going to be about I, I think it's a wonderful thing thanks for bringing Thank this to the ministry and good luck she's in twin cities <laughs> and, and i will see you next week so alaikum and god bless you all